Let's bring in Mike Cozzi and uh, get a check on sports. Good morning there, Mike. Good morning. And how are you? Good. So, uh, I, I was watching the first portion of that baseball game last night, uh, the baseball game between Houston and Boston. And uh, my thought of the New York Yankees, where the Yankees got a home run uh, uh, against Baltimore, and it was definitely fan interference because the fan reached out over into the field to play, but the, the ums didn't call it. Last night, a player went back into the crowd to get the ball and didn't get it, and the ums called fan interference. Crazy call. Yeah, Houston got shafted on that. Yeah. Um, not saying it would have had anything no. to do with the outcome of the game. You don't know what would have transpired after that because it was early in the game, but the Red Sox didn't win by two runs, and now Tuve lost a two-run homer. Once you go into the stands, any part of your body, the glove, your body, whatever, the ball's free game. I mean, a, a, a fan can take your glove off and run home with it. You have to get the ball. The fan does not have to get out of your way, which is you, you hear them say it all the time on foul balls and everything else where the home field comes into play. The umps made the wrong call last night. That was definitely not fan interference. Um, Betts tried to make the play. He went up into the stands with his glove. The, fee, the, 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 the fans went for the ball as well, hit his glove, didn't make the catch. That's not an out. He missed that. The, yeah. the umpire missed it and, and maybe could have caused that, the Astros being down three games to one today. So that was awful. And you see these things with replay that's supposed to fix it. It doesn't fix it. The, the umpiring in baseball is getting Worse by the game. I've seen a couple calls last night behind the plate where they said that uh, a, a player fouled the ball off when he missed it by six inches. Um, and you, you can't have this kind of incompetency in the playoffs. It's terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. It's going to get to the point where a baseball game is going to last six hours because everything's going to be reviewed. And as far as reviews go, there's too many of them. Um, if a manager wants to review something, he should only be limited to two of them. And if, if you're wrong, there should be a, pain, a penalty against you, like you're, you're automatically given an out. Because there's too many of these frivolous reviews where a manager says, well, i got nothing to lose, I might as well do it. Well, you should have something to lose. You shouldn't do it because you have people in the dugout in the clubhouse looking at these reviews and they're radioed right back to you whether you should do it or not. You, you shouldn't make frivolous ones. But this call last night... In, in, uh, against Altuve in the first inning, which would have tied the game at 2-2, um, was one, probably the worst call, if not the worst call, I ever seen wrong in a baseball game. All right, so now the Red Sox really are set up. To, I mean, for them to lose this, it would have to be uh, – it would, it would be a historic – Don't say it. it would be, but it, it's not going to happen, but it would have to oh, be that. It, it, if anybody could come back three games to one against the Red Sox, it's Houston because – um, they have the lineup to do it, but right now their lineup's not producing. Um, Sale's not pitching tonight. He's not 100%. You don't know if and when he can pitch again in this series. It's not like Houston hasn't scored runs. It's just that they've given up more than they've scored. Um, their pitching is not coming through. So tonight you're going to get Verlander. You have to figure he's going to come out with a heck of a game tonight. So if Houston wins tonight and Cole pitches the way he should pitch and not pitch in game two up in Boston, you're looking at a game seven. So if anybody can come back against Boston, it, it's the Astros. Because if you look at what happened with Boston, their big close, Kembrell, once again came in last night and didn't do the job. So you're going to see what happens. And Kembrell went two last night. He never goes two. The Red Sox know Sale can't pitch, and they know they're up against it with Verlander tonight. It's almost like they're sacrificing tonight's game before they get into it. I don't know how you can do that because you never know what's going to happen in the game. You, you never know what kind of calls are going to be made up against you. So, but I, I don't think that the Red Sox are home. All right. Uh, the, the, uh, the other shocker is uh, the Dodgers handling the Brewers. Well, the shocker is that Kershaw pitched a big game yesterday. He went deep into the game, and he pitched real good. It was probably his best performance ever in a playoff game. 
Um, you know, I, I criticize him most of the time, but yesterday you got to give him credit. He pitched a really, really good game, and he's the reason why they're going back to Milwaukee up three games to two. Again, this series is not over because the, the Dodgers have not been outplaying Milwaukee. Uh, Milwaukee's just not been getting breaks. Uh, the Dodgers have been getting breaks. Um, and, you know, you come down to a 13-inning game that could have went either way in game four, and Kershaw shows up with the best game he's ever pitched in the playoffs yesterday, and, and that's how Milwaukee's down three games to two. So neither of these series, even though both teams are one game away from clinching and going to the World Series, I don't think any of these series are close to being over yet. And the next Red Sox game is tonight? Yeah, they play tonight in Houston. Okay, and also tonight is the uh, Thursday night football game. What a roach. Uh, honest to God, look at this game. Denver at 2-4, and four, going nowhere, versus Arizona at 1-5, and five, going nowhere. <laughs> you go first. Well, I'll just I I have to take I have to take Denver just simply because uh, they have one more one more win than Arizona. I'm taking Arizona because they stink. <laughs> but you know, I look at these games though across the board, Mike coming up. Oh, they're rat games. I mean, you've got Buffalo and Indianapolis, a two and four team against a one and five team. Houston and Jacksonville, three and three versus three and three. Um, you've got. Um, let me go back here. Oh, Cleveland against Tampa Bay, two, three, and one versus two and three. Uh, I mean, uh, the the premier game for the NFL East uh, for the for for the least division, Dallas three and three, Washington three and two. My God! Welcome to the NFL. My God! Amazing. The best game of the week is probably going to be New England against the Bears. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's uh, yeah. You're exactly right. I, I'm just, I just look at this and I'm amazed. I'm, I mean, uh, base, baseball's got a big thing going in their favor. If uh, the Boston Houston series does go seven, they play Sunday night. The NFL game is the Bengals against the Chiefs. How about next? Not this coming Monday. Let's see, Monday night. The Monday night game. You know what the Monday night game is? Yeah, Atlanta and the Giants. Yeah, one and five versus two and four. Yeah, a, a real a, another game of interest. Actually, probably the best game of the week is going to be Cincinnati versus Kansas City. Four and I two. Think the, five I think the one. Bears New England game is going to be uh, a good game. Unbelievable! What a what a horrible season for the NFL. Oh. yeah. I mean, terrible. There's there's really <laughs> there's, no. There's it's really, terrible. Unless you have a nephew or a son playing, there's really no reason to watch these games. They, they it's it's an awful product and getting worse by the day. It's uh, it's 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 horrible. I mean, uh, that's all you can say. All right. Oh, it stinks. It's 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 real garbage. All right. Anything else we want to talk about? Um, yeah, the Rangers lost again last night. My Rangers. Yeah. Who's their coach? I don't know. I didn't even know who their players are. Their coach this year. It's just. Really, <laughs> just it's, it's like they're the invisible team. Yep. The Devils go for five, and they're at home again tonight. Um, so they'll go for their fifth win to start the season, the fifth home win, uh, see what happens there. And they finally hit the road Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. They play the Flyers in Philadelphia. All right, well, we'll check with you tomorrow. Hey, did it snow there? Uh, no, but it's, it could snow if it wanted to. We had some areas that had a little bit of sleet yesterday, but that's all. But it's 30 Right now it's 32 degrees here. Well, I ha- I've had my heat on the last two or three mornings, and last week this time the air condition was on. Yeah, no, I said the heat's been on uh, my house. Uh, actually, turned on earlier this year. It's been on. It's on full blast for a week now. Up here. Wow. Yeah. Oh well. No, no fall. Goodbye, <laughs> summer. Hello, winter. That's it. All right, Mike. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Uh, Mike Cosie with the check on sports uh, this morning here on Robin Hood Radio.